Wilkerson. I oh, know, well. No, I know that happens. You just been jamming out, bro. There's Look never. Up. Well, Christine, how's yours? Is, working great. Is your internet fine, Christine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I saw her say, yeah, 25 seconds before she said, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what drop in my personal life is running wild, and that is the Corey Feldman, oh, yeah. <laughs> that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if I'm one or two more oh, yeahs away from Katie just being like, shut up, dude. Because oh, yeah. I'm dropping a lot of oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see? Oh, could, yeah. Could we, could we resolve there somewhere now? I got, oh, man, I got to find this. A guy sent me a thing. Did he sent to all of us? What? He 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 messaged Cree Feldman in something. Okay. And Corey and was like, I'm going to come God. on the show. Everything's cool. Damn. Let me see if I can find this. Vamp. Did Corey Feldman write back that he understands our angle and understands it's mostly just a joke and that we're just lightly mocking him? N- well, not lightly. No. No, it's not that at all. What? Boy. What? He didn't realize that we're actually fans and we're just, you know, would like him to admit that maybe there's a little bit of narcissism behind some of his rock and roll endeavors. I don't know if I can find it. But here's, yeah. <laughs> at some point, it doesn't really, we'll love this or something. And then he was like, he's like, those guys love you. They're fans. He goes, are they fans or are they making fun of my brand of entertainment? Uh, there's something like I will never talk to those guys unless they gave a humble hat and hand apology. And let me say right now, humbly hat and hand, dude. Sorry, <laughs> I am so. You I want you. To, I want you to be my best friend, dude. You're so Watch. wacky. Look at us, dude. Ready? I want to get in your world. Want to trade my angels? Sorry. I'll trade my angels with you for a couple days. Whoa. <laughs> want to wife swap my angels? Christine, you're going back to California just for a short run. Actually, Christine, you should come in and fucking, you should just do the singing. You should be like, uh, when the night <laughs> is young and the last it. Has gone, <laughs> and the moon. It's perfect. <laughs> it sounds perfect. As is a present to myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, Jacob? As a present to myself, because Lou played that, I am going to watch that entire birthday concert, uh, front the Blackbird yourself. performance over the, over the break. You know what? It's get a get a so big my favorite hour of of anything maybe. Get some popcorn. Real, uh, get a nice uh, uh, sugar free soda that you can enjoy, and just sit back and watch him fucking rip for an hour. Uh, the best. Realizing also that it was ne- it was never booked. They just kind of showed up. Dude, if you're that it makes band, it all the sweeter. I wonder if the band <laughs> that he replaced it was one of two things. They were either like. Yeah, fuck it, we'll take the night off. Or they were like, yeah, man, kind of wanted to do our songs. We wanted to do Celebrate, but we do so good at that. We've got a lot of Earth, Wind, and Fire in there now. Do you just let me up there, man. And then he just does an hour. Hey, man, let me just do that. I just, I want to be as, I want to be as, come on, am I frozen? Damn it. frozen. It's all right. You still sound good. You sound fine. You guys are all back in regular time now. We're all back in black. I hit the yeah, side. you guys perfect, and now I'm frozen somehow. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, technology! He's bitch. Oh. He's incredible. You bitch bastard! <laughs> oh. mm. Sorry, guys, I blew in it. Oh, oh you fuck! You should start cursing like in, uh, like with old Greek gods. Oh, sis, or just just make very old Greek references. Oh, Sisyphus, <laughs> you've got me this time. Sisyphus. Oh, Icarus! I flew too close to the sun, and now I've burned. I think my I think my internet's working out now, dude. Big night, Matrix night, three in the morning. Yeah. Oh, really? You're gonna watch at three in the morning? No, Jacob is. I still have to I watch the second part of the South Park. Uh, I watched that last night too. It was fun. Yeah, I fell asleep during the first episode of MacGruber. Yeah, everything's falling to shit. Uh, I felt very bad on. because I was like, "Oh, let's." I uh, told Katie, "I was like, MacGruber's a TV show. Let's put it on." And I have a thing where, like, uh, if I watch TV in bed, I will fall asleep. You have to watch TV with me on the couch for me to stay awake. I don't know what it is. I think it's my giant head. Once it goes past a certain angle, it just shuts off my whole body. (laughs) Uh, See, I wish I I had that kind of sleep, dude. My thing is more, like, that's why I like, that's why I really do enjoy melatonin. When I take melatonin, like, when I get in bed, I start doing a thing where, like, you're, you're falling out of your own, like, fist. Yeah. Yeah, you know I do I mean? that. Every, like, that's I, how I fell asleep I, last night. I fell asleep like this, up on a pillow watching, and then I was like, 
And Katie was like, what? She turned around. All I know is I was watching MacGruber, and then there, it just, it, all of a sudden, Katie goes, are you serious? And I looked, and I was like, was I out? And she was like, yeah, you're out. It's the most dad thing that I do. I just fall asleep watching TV. Yeah, I went to Lewis's, and Lewis got a Lazy Boy. He got a Lazy Boy brand Lazy Boy. That's great. That is great. You, That's my favorite I'll, purchase I've heard of a friend. Got up in zero G and all that stuff. Sure. Was that it made her feel of like it stunk of hospital bed to her? And seventy year old dad to me. Yeah, but then it feels like seventy year old dad too, and you get in there and you're like, this nah. is comfortable. <sighs> nah, I I'm really sleeping see. lazy boy. Oh, I love seeing a lazy Lewis boy. spread out in that lazy boy in his suburban house. I was really like, all right, Lewis, little suburban dad action going yeah, on. Dude. It's so different from like the performer Lewis. <laughs> no, it's what's funny is Lewis stretched out in that thing while we're watching UFC and completely fell asleep like seven times. Yeah, yeah that's man. the problem, dude. Uh, let me tell you, as, a, as, a, as someone that lays down, took a dabs asleep, and hit a lazy boy. Crazy. You might as well have just. Might as well have just wrapped a blanket around and laid down on a bed. Because his last UFC fight, he was like, he kind of had Chuck Liddell chin. You know how Chuck Liddell at the end yeah. would take a regular shot and you'd be like, that really fucked him up. Tyrone Woodley, like in his last UFC fight was like, his legs were straight and he was like getting hit in a way where you're like, ah, I think this guy should call it. Yeah, no, probably. But he went out. Did you see it, TJ Lou, Jacob? Oh, yeah. No. It felt like a ton of bricks. Yeah, dude. You didn't see he did the face out? first. He did the oh, face man. first. It was face the... first, and both his feet feet pointed outward. It's yeah. the coolest a white guy could ever possibly feel would be knocking a black guy out like that. <laughs> but the question, especially is not like, especially not like on the air of like uh, evil. Do you know what I mean? It was like yeah. competition sports. Like he can't believe he did it either. He uh, how much money did he make from that fight? Because he was substituting in for Tyson Fury. Uh, he made enough money that his mother, after the fight, came in the ring and was like, Jake Paul, look at you all handsome and what have you. Thank you so much for knowing my son in front of all these people. It was crazy. I mean, I think they gave him, yeah, he got his biggest payday. Ever. Yeah, dude. Which it's... begs the question, if you're good at your thing, if you're good at something your whole life, and then at the very end of it, you can trade it in and look like an asshole for all the money in the world. All the money in the world, but I will say this, all the money in the world, but he should move to another country. Yes. He should get the fuck out of this country. Yes. For sure. It just doesn't look cool. It, it's, and, and not even Australia. Lost. They'll watch it. You can't show old videos of him and get him back to cool again. He lost. Tra- it's, I know Jake Paul's a good boxer and blah, blah, blah. Put respect on his name for sure. He's far better than we all thought, but like... You look humiliated, and I feel yeah. terrible for him in that regard. Like I would, yeah, Nate, every time you went to a store, I feel like you'd be like, "They're looking at me because I'm the guy who knocked." They're not. They're not looking at you because you're whatever world champion anymore. You'd think like, "Oh, they're looking at me because I'm the guy that got." I mean, face through the canvas, just like Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson's been walking around in glasses and fake mustaches since he got knocked out. Nate Robinson can live in a world where it means nothing to him. He's a fucking basketball player. Terrell True. Woodley's a competitive combat sports fighter. He's a champion. Former champion. Was he a champion? Yeah, he was yes, a champion for a UFC, while. Right? He's one of those like long hold champions. Damn, to trade it all in. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw this scene last night. This I saw this scene last night. Uh, real time. <laughs> <laughs> I watched all the Rockies last night, and I loved yeah, they were on they were on one of the channels. But by the way, I started hearing what he was saying. He keeps going like, "We had so much more to do. We had so much more to do." That's what he keeps saying. I always made it just gibberish. <laughs> it was like I'm like, it's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he directed himself in this. He wrote himself to do this. He was a cry like a fucking idiot. Did he direct three? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Oh, yeah. Things to do. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many A's versus how many H's are that. Ah. Hug! We are called Yisrael. Uh, you are called Yisrael. Yisrael. Never not funny. Never not funny. How old was he when he made Rocky? He was a like young as shit when he wrote it. Yeah, I think it kind of ties into what we're going to talk about. In his 20s? Yeah, first one he was in his 20s, late 20s. 
Late twenties? Okay. That's something. Because I was saying yesterday, I started this conversation before we went on air, but to catch the world up to where we were, uh, me and Christine were talking the other day. We were listening to "Just a Girl" by No Doubt. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, just this song. Girl. I fucking I hate ska. And I was like, to get past the idea that that was ska. Uh, one, how hot she was, and then the song was so catchy, you just loved it. And when I think, what he wrote in Kali Chuck called, yeah, yeah, guy, yep. Look at you, look and at Lou. Wepner filed a lawsuit, which was eventually settled with Stallone for an undisclosed amount, millions. Wepner, and then they made a movie. It's like the guy who's the real Rocky. It's like Chuck something. Chuck Wepner. Oh, is yes. that him? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, they made some movie about her. She was 26 when she made the song? Yeah, the song came out in 1995, and she was 26 in 95. Okay. Well, she's not a fantastic example. But oh, yeah. I think like, Chappelle's they found the, their fucking thing. Chappelle's the only one I can think of that was, like, in his 20s. I mean, outside of Eddie Murphy. Yeah, but if you watch, I'm telling you, if you watch Chappelle's thing... He, there's none of the silly he had uh, existing. His silly was very different. What do you mean? When he was young, when he was under thirty, he was still yeah. like he had jokes that were still like, uh, you know, why do you keep your black people at it? You know, what I mean, just like yeah, kind of like yeah. playful, like nonsense. You know, where it's like much more. Uh, Nothing doesn't have those lines now, but there's much more pontification. You know, cigarette talking. Yeah, yeah stare at your cigarette comedy. <laughs> but Conversations yeah, I mean, with your cigarette. I think Chappelle did, uh, he did, yeah, Killing Him Softly was, I think he was like uh, 26 when he did that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like, you know, I'd say it's his Whoa. best one. Whoa. 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 We've had Whoa. it up to here. But then Gwen Stefani was in that, um, she was in that documentary about Dr. Dre and uh, What's His Nuts. Uh, Jimmy Iovine, yeah, yeah, the Defiant ones, and was it Jimmy Iovine was in that yeah. with yeah. her? Yeah. And she talks about how Jimmy Iovine had her on a contract, and like when she was younger, he kept being like, you know, you're five years away from being famous, and so that must have been when she was 21. Yeah, probably. But I'm just saying, like the idea they're in the game that much to get ready to pop to be famous, like, and we obviously there's like Pete and stuff like that. It would happen. For, sure. Uh, Kev, pretty young, like popped enough that he was like known. Do you know what I mean? That it's like, uh, but it doesn't happen to a lot of people. Like, I couldn't imagine being like, I am, I guess, in certain things, like marked down for life on some of your younger stuff. But I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, you don't want that out. You know, when people are like, the bad boys of comedy thing, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, I see how I would make fun of that right now. Like, yeah. hey, nice. Way to dance around, you fucking doofus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you tell the white people to blah, blah, blah? I mean, that's how I feel. Everything you see, yeah. You I, nothing in my twenties did I watch and be like, "That was me. That was definitely me." Yeah, found my stride. Look at that, oh, hit right it young. There. That's a, That's got to be a very hard place to be if you're like, you know, a pop. I mean, most pop stars, I would say, are probably early twenties, and then they fade away. But there are most of those, a lot of those people have songs written for them. Though. They're machines. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like I don't think No Doubt was a machine. You know what I mean? I think they were like friends yeah. in a band. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a type of Metallica. Metallica was in their 20s Anaheim. when they're making. Metallica's in their early 20s at Master of Puppets and shit. Or Injustice for All. Dude, that's fucking wild. But they've been practicing their whole lives to get to that point, whereas you guys can't really practice until you start getting on stage. Like, so you can I want, write. You can. Uh, but do you but think that's do you way think different that James, than becoming a. I want to see James Hetfield, 13-year-old book flyer. He's like, I missed you so much that I love you. It was like, mm, yeah. Fucking, uh, like, just goofball songs he was writing back then. He he's like, it's recess, recess. It's the best. Yeah. He still has it. Yeah. yeah. Recess. Yes. Oh. Recess is calling me. All that I see when I'm in science and I'm in math. Yeah. He goes, I got to work on those lyrics, so the harmony's great. <laughs> All right, I think I got something there. Yeah, I mean, let's take this thing for a walk, because it's studio. Recess. Detention. I say yes. Check them you say <laughs> uh, The original song, Trapped Under Ice, was about trick-or-treating. I wrote it when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, you're right. They get to practice much more at the instruments. I'm not talking about the instruments. 
That's already impressive enough. I'm talking about writing songs that stand the test of time at that. that, that I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Like, Isabella knows that song. Her kid will know that song. Yeah. It's, it's like six months. She's three months pregnant, everybody. Hey, oh, muzzle. She's nope, muzzle. she's defied. She's 19 and not pregnant. She has defied all the Hispanic odds, Dan. You're right. You're right Damn. when you were thinking that. <laughs> I did. I put the right money down. <laughs> um, but someone that did that was like Snoop Dogg. Like Snoop Dogg uh, at 20 years old was like weed smoking gang member. You know what I mean? Like all these things. and then For sure. But he doesn't. It's a doggy style. And it's like, oh, this is unbelievable. And then now at like, how old Snoop? Like 55, 56? Right. But he'll never make another like what would be considered a hit ever again. Yeah. He's just in. The, I mean, I loved just, all of his stuff at No of Limit. Fucking thing. But that's just because I'm a no limit soldier. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, no, you did not. <laughs> Can we come back only with exclusive? He's 50 years old. My bad. Is that um, it? That's it. Can but uh, can we? Can we come back with only Snoop Dogg on No Limit today? Oh yeah. Sure. I don't think yeah. I know one of the songs. I don't think I do either. It'd be very fun to hear it. Or I don't know like, why I thought Snoop oh, Dogg was yeah. older than fifty. I'm with Master P, and now I'm getting it. I'm in the No Limit family. <laughs> like, was, uh, I'm the Big Five O, the D O, oh. a double G G Y. Oh, okay. I, you know, I thought you, about that slap doodle. Slap but you know, who, do you know who goes through that? Like pop stars or hot people? Oh yeah, for like, sure. In regular yeah, life, Demi Lovato just became like a non-binary, chubby fucking alien defense lawyer. <laughs> she went from being pure. She went from being pure sex to reading your palms in three years. Yeah, she just became a uh, just a roly poly, real annoying broad. I'd be like, hey, what's your recipe for beef stew? Where five years ago, yeah. you're like, I'll do a hit of ecstasy and go to, yeah, a hey fucking, <laughs> yeah, hey fat tits. What's going on with that alien thing? Is that mean? I mean, I think just as a as a young hot person, the seams just pop, and then you're like, "Fuck!" It can for sure. I mean, Britney Spears lost her shit, but she was in a weird situation. That was a weird situation. I think like uh, Jessica Simpson did a thing where she ballooned and then shot out a bunch of kids and then got yeah, back. Talk about a man's world in that thing. I think we talked about this not long ago, recently, but I watched that documentary on Janet Jackson and getting her titty pulled out. Oh, and this yeah. guy, like, changed the entire course of her life. And Justin Timberlake was like, ah, I'm bad, sorry. I don't know. Yeah. And they yeah, were like, oh, okay. And they were like, two years later, they were like, you know what, dude? Get the fuck back here and do the Super Bowl again. She's, like, get banned for, like, she can't go in any, she can't be in a city where there's a Super Bowl. <laughs> and he, yeah, you're not even allowed near it. We don't even watch by playoff Justin games. Justin Timberlake, like, sorry about pulling her titty out. That was wacky, huh? But check out these, uh, check out this. Oh, ooh, you ever seen a white guy out, move? Oh, do you hear my, like hear my feet squeaking? Oh, check out this. Uh, and then watch uh, this. I'm so sorry. Up. I'm so sorry. He girl, ripped her tit sorry, open too. Girl, I'm sorry. He pulled it off and was like, "There is her. her there is her tit." And everyone was like, <gasps> "Janet Jackson, you stupid black slut! You fucking <laughs> slut! What did you do? You fucked up, go, Janet." Yeah, go, go, yeah. Shut on. <laughs> they really. They, honestly, God, she got like blasted for and he was just like whatever sorry it was dumb i guess guess i made a no-no you guys want to watch me do a country album they could have guessed but i'm saying he just goes through the fucking range and then just later in life he gets to come back and go dude i was sort of a dick back then man you know what i'm sorry i'm sorry to janet jackson and britney spears that was pretty shitty of me he didn't even fully and remember when he showed up in cornrows in a full denim suit at mtv uh, yeah, i do yeah, Christine remembers. She jills to it weekly. Dude, the denim look is brutal. No, he had cornrows. Yeah, they both denimed up. No, that's not the cornrows one. I think he had his fro out there. No, that's not the cornrows denim. You're talking about when he had a bandana on, too, over the cornrows. I don't know. Wait, just the, Christine just showed a picture of the Janet Jackson titty out thing. Yes. But it looks like, like, like a Terminator titty. It's a metal, metal tip, like, you know, no, like the skin, a, she has, she has the skin rip there and the, the metal is coming through. What you're she looking at is a, T, a T900 oh, so, capable of giving you bonus. So this thing wasn't a malfunction then, right? No, they really? say it was. No, they say he was supposed to pull off the leather part and it was supposed to be a red part that stayed over it. But it all comes off. 
But well, who knows if that's even bullshit or not? Whatever. It's just funny that who cares? Number one, and it fucked yeah. her shit up pretty good. And she was like pretty high to popularity still then. And that fucking shut her shit down quick. And Justin Timberlake just walked through the raindrops. But it's, so it's the female pop star has the hard time with the aging. That's the toughie. I mean, yeah. Madonna, 50 Cent just made fun of Madonna. And she had to come back at him. <laughs> she got upset. Did she? Yeah, I think she came back at him or something. I forget what she did said. He, did Fiddy promote his, uh, his liquor like he always does in all of his shit talking posts? <laughs> very, very possibly. And he his 9 11 posts? I just know and she his, was upset that he fucking, like, uh, that he. And his Sandy Hook posts? I mean, the picture of her under the bed looks like someone dressed your grandma up in fishnets and when you go under the bed. She had, like, beef puss, you know what I mean? No. Or puss beef, I call it. The Wait, beef is, around is the puss. Is this the one where she's laying on the bed with the hard nip? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah and, then she, and then and then the one she's going under the bed, remember? And it's like, oh yeah, a shot up between her legs of her panties and her fishnets, but it's all, it's all beef ass. Puss. <laughs> you got, you got your puss. beefy ass, beef pu- puss beef. Beef yeah, it's weird. Puss? It's weird looking. Yeah, puss. there it is. Oh, God. Yeah, you see like the tag coming out of her asshole. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Fifty cent. I don't know what he said. He had apologized though. Hey, what was he hey this is the funniest thing. That's Madonna <laughs> like, trying to be like a virgin at 63. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. It's very funny. Look at 50 Cent. Put him so, he got under the table. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> and I put, he did it too. <laughs> That's very That's funny. really funny. He did it also. That's fucking funny. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a super flattering picture. <laughs> it's a weird picture to have released. That's a fake tush, right? Uh, like, oh, she gets like injections in it or something. Yeah. Maybe it looks sort of me like an older lady's fucking ass just moving. You know, the gravity pushing it up because she's laying down. Do you know what I mean? Like she's like one wiggle away from the ass cheeks going the other direction, south, and then she can wiggle. They let him sit up. I heard she got implants, butt plants. Uh, here's Fifty Cent pretending to be my friend. Uh, now you have decided to wait. And she goes, she wrote about the photo of the two of them together. Now you've decided to talk smack about me. You I guess your new career is, is an old person way. Yeah. You give me some, you give me some lip. <laughs> oh, you got to talk all that guff. You got to give me guff. I'm going to give you guff right back. 50. I guess your new career is getting attention by trying to humiliate others on social media. Now, old Madonna, you humiliated no. yourself with those pictures. The least elevated choice you could make as an artist and as an adult. You are just jealous you won't look as good as me or have as much fun when you are my age. He'll okay. have as much fun. I almost to hurt he Madonna's will, feelings. She he went and dug up an old... He'll look this better This is now. great. I must have hurt Madonna's feelings. She went and dug up an old MTV TRL photo from 03. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not intend to hurt your feelings. I don't benefit from this in any way, he wrote. I said what I thought when I saw the picture because of where I had seen it before. I hope you accept my apology. That's hilarious. Here's a picture of us from 2003. By the way, I tell you, if he, if he gets to her age, he's going to look better than her at his age. Uh, he'll look better than her at that age. Yeah. Uh, I, for, I genuinely believe that. Always up to EKGs. Did I ever tell you that I once had... We should take one now. We could do the thing, Dan. We could, if we remember now, we don't take a break. We can go straight through with the Are You Garbage fellas. Nice. Christine fired him off, man. Yeah. And are then we we'll take another at... break. Yes, Jacob? I'm sorry. Are we looking at Madonna's official like Instagram now? Because this looks like she's 15 in these photos. Yeah, she's got all kinds of crazy makeup and filters on. It's it's What she's doing is bananas. She's, she's acting like a lunatic. And she's showing everyone her titties and stuff. And it's like, uh, you know, do your thing, Madonna. Yeah, get it, girl. Who gives a shit? But like, it is fucking hilarious. She's like, you're just jealous. You're not having fun like me. Like, Dude, I don't know. I always think of, I always think about her kids when you're just like growing up and your mom is like uh, sexually out there and like trying, you know, like, you yeah, know how Cher's like, son uh, plays the guitar yeah. on the ship while, while her butt's out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know, Trish would go to the bar, but she dressed like a mom. She was always a mom. She wasn't in, like, plunging necklines and, like, coming in and being like, these are my gentleman friends where we party and dance. That's got to be exhausting as a kid whose parent is, like, a pop star, but a sex 
Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, yeah, my mom's bush was coming out of the top of her jeans again. Great. <laughs> like, you know TMZ. who hates Justin Timberlake? Britney Spears' <laughs> full-grown sons, who oh are both, God. like, 18 and 19. Or if you're, like, Tommy Lee's son, and you're fighting him, and then also have to watch a sex tape with him and Pam. Yeah, him and Pam. Yeah, exactly. Remember when you and Mom fucked on that boat, and then you drove a boat with your... Big, long dick. Also, why did I get mom's family's dick size, not yours? Yeah, what's up? The Lees don't transfer? Oh, okay. Uh, let's take a break so we don't have to have a break with uh, with Kevin and Foley. Well, let's here's, do the it. Thing, here's the thing about the what, commercials. What? We have, you have one in the first hour and three in the second, so I don't know how you want to do that. Um, what? <laughs> what? You We're only have one. Reads. Yeah, You we'll only have one live yeah, we'll do one now, and then we'll do three at uh, six. You know what? My Here's what we'll do. Let's not even take a break. Let's not even take a break. Let me just read this real quick. Don, do it, dude. Go for it, dog. Hey, are you stuck on what to give your friends and family this year? Wish them a merry softness and a happy new rear with new comfy underwear, yes. loungewear, and pajamas from Tommy John. When your loved ones wear Tommy John, they're that much more comfortable so they can do everything better. Tommy John loungewear's luxurious soft tri-blend and micromodal fabrics mean four-way stretch and no lint balls or fuzz. With over 17 million pairs sold, giving the gift of Tommy John underwear and loungewear has become a holiday tradition for families all across the country. 97% of women and men love getting a gift from Tommy John. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Returns and exchanges are free, and it's all backed by Tommy John's best pail you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. Get $20 off site-wide right now at tommyjohn.com slash bonfire. That's tommyjohn.com. Perfect. You were what happened? Perfect, dude. How did it go? Did I do good? You did so good. Did baby do good? Baby did so good. <laughs> baby did did the baby best. do good for you? Baby did the best for you. you There's so much I want to talk about. I almost want to, uh, I almost want to save... Uh, fart in a jar for the for Are the You guys, Garbage Boys? For the Are You Garbage Boys. But there's always so many things to talk about. We, we have a Corey Feldman video. We got a bazillion things we could talk about Are You Garbage with. Oh, yeah. Who knows where it'll take us? Who, who the only, F even knows? Only God knows. Only, only God, God knows. knows why. What about that monkey that they tried to overdose with THC? I think that's really fun. Do they show it? Uh, no, they just it's just an article and they talk about how they tried to prove it, or the if Mer if THC was lethal in doses. Cuz I Come remember on. growing up smoking weed, everyone was like you can't over This was in If uh, you say you can't overdose. You can't overdose. Scientists weren't able to kill monkeys with excessive amounts of THC. Here's why this matters. But in the story, I think it's funny that they gave this the description is the funniest part of this article because they say, if you go down, Christine, that you can't OD on it. But what happened was they gave it to monkeys and through oral injections. And then even though it didn't die, it just got extremely sto stoned and sat for hours with rats. Lots of rats. That's, isn't that great news? Isn't well, there rat problems? Rodents? That's so great. It's crude know. marijuana extract, which is something similar to RSO. Um, it, it was it, so it was the Delta Nine THC, which gets you high. There was oh, I'm CBD. a Delta Eight guy. I don't know if you remember from Vampire. I'm more of a Nine guy. Um, they gave it to rats, monkeys, and beagles, dude. We're watching a, a party, dog, man. watching a dog get stoned would kind of bum me out. I'd be like, No, hey, it wouldn't. Man. No, you'd love it. You'd I love know. it. It'd be so fun to hang out with a stone dog. <laughs> <laughs> They gave about... Um, it's when you get to do a lot of hand on your hip dog and her things like, fucking Myrtle, that was yeah. my sandwich. And she's like... <laughs> break on through to the other side. But break on through Myrtle. to the other side. Yeah. She understands huh? it. She's like, I'm a dog. <laughs> but Myrtle... Wait, this I'm was in the wait. 70s? Because the intent of the fucking stoner... To be like, I got some. Let me give him a shotgun real quick. Try some of this. 
You ever had a dab and then a gravity bong hit? Night, night, fucking Curious George. This one's called Ray Charles because it makes you go, oh, wow. This, this right here is called Big Sir Banana, and I'm going to blow it in this monkey's face and fucking <laughs> kill him. And nothing. They just got high and had their head in their hands thinking about shit. Yeah, just what have I done me. with my monkey life? Dude, what do I got to do to evolve out of this? Oh, my monkey girlfriend got fat on me. Didn't see that. Different. They really rodents. keep telling that kills rats. Yeah, dude, dude. This is like the creepy kid in your neighborhood where the article keeps being like, I killed a bunch of rats. And you're like, I, I don't want to know this. Yeah, and I love this. They died the severe. Three milligrams of THC for a... Uh, I, think, I think 33 milligrams could kill a 150 gram rat. <laughs> the rats mainly died, as you said, to severe hypothermia. All right. Yeah, I love it. Dan. What a great new thing to put in your rat traps. Yeah, what's up, Jacob? I'm not wasting that killing no rats. You feel me? Oh, dude, you love blowing trees. God, you love blowing trees. Yeah, why would you waste it? Why would you give what this rat waste? the beauty of hypothermia when you can get that? Hmm. Now, let's see what the other animals did, because that's just rodents. Yeah. Dogs. Dogs. The beagles were also given giant doses, and they all became good boys. Um, they were seven to ten months old. Oh, puppies. They died during the study? They weren't caused by THC itself. Rather, the deaths were attributed to dogs aspirating, choking on the cannabis that was being given via the tube. And there's, well, that's, I'm not counting, that's just, that's just bad fucking yeah, science. Bad sci yeah. This is bad, that's bad data. Yeah, they were choked out with fucking... <laughs> Hey. That's, yeah, that's insane. Hey, all right, all right. You're a little high. You're a little high. Just back. Why don't you just fucking hot, right. just hot okay. box Okay, okay. All right. Hot you know. Sorry we gave you that gravity bong hit. I understand you're afraid of everything. <laughs> oh, God, put your teeth away. Oh, you put, uh, okay. I'm not your father. I'm not your father. Okay, listen. You can't suck my nipples and get milk. I'm sorry I'm not your mommy. Uh, well, the monkey. You got to calm down, buddy. While the monkeys didn't die, they were very clearly affected by the massive doses of THC. They suffered behavioral changes and genuinely, genu generally indicated depression. Oh. A small percentage of the monkeys became hyperactive shortly after that activity. A period of inactivity characterized by lethargy, lack of coordination, imbalance, drowsiness, and or a characteristic huddled great. posture. Just a so bummed basically... monkey in your house? And he's like, what's up, dude? Yeah, I can climb, but for what? What am I oh, climbing yeah. for? A bummed-ass monkey hanging out. Damn, that posture was, that position was shown by more than 90% of the treated monkeys. In each case, the monkeys assumed a sitting position, often facing the back of their cages, and rested their faces in their hands or between their knees. Damn, dude, sad monkeys. I hurt my monkey self today yeah. to, to see. see if I still <laughs> monkey feel. Okay. Focus, focus on the on monkey, monkey pain. Monkey pain. <laughs> The only thing that's monkey real. You could the needle do. tears a monkey hole. What they didn't talk about is how all that cannabis use led to monkey grunge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of monkey grunge music made. Where do monkeys go when they die? Oh, yeah. hey, right. Smells like monkey spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, monkey, give me all the weed. Know. Trees, keep abortion legal. <laughs> well, this was in the this was in 1973. So imagine what weed would do to him now. Yeah, it was good stuff. The monkey is like he's speaking in sign language. He says a little bit seedy. No, yeah, he says a lot he of gets, seeds in this. He says he gets nodes of turnip. <laughs> Yeah, Somalia talk. Just like a lot Bud of hints Tender. of oak in there. A lot of hints of oak in there. He's this is sign. He's all signing this. What's that mittens? God damn, dude! How did? <laughs> yeah. How did he know all this? He's like, <laughs> well, I'm a bud tender, and I trained him sign language and how to read the difference between a sativa and an indica. That's pretty dope. Also, I could play PlayStation Five. He's actually pretty efficient in Smash Brothers. We play, <laughs> we play a lot of Nintendo Switch. He's fucking ill. Anyways, there's not a dose that can kill him. It only makes him stronger, but he gets bummed out. 
How's Monkey, it going? Monkey Lane Staley just chased the dragon too far. Dude, he went to the harder stuff. Yeah. What Sorry, have I told you? One of these monkeys has been tying up and pushing off. <laughs> you go, oh. Certainly not me. Who is that one hanging out of the tree? One leg hanging off? <laughs> That's not a sloth. That's actually a monkey on heroin. <laughs> DJ Lou, did you ever see originally Allison Chains? No, only uh, with the replacement dude. How about you, Jacob? I didn't know. Yeah, Man, I saw the black guy. That unplugged is so damn good. And then you realize that half of them were doing heroin to get through the show. Yeah. Has anybody got a quick pick me up? My stomach's starting to hurt again. I can't imagine <laughs> during the middle of a set being like, hold on, guys. Uh, uh, dating's weird. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, I got to throw up. I guess, or you just go, it's like, I got to throw up my mouth real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back with them. Oh, I'm no, now, there it is. Now it's hitting. He did a heroin. Fuck, okay. Dan, you're the host. It's just a cardboard cardboard cutout, and she was actually out rollerblading. That would be so much funnier. Yeah, she just falls over. It's just two-dimensional. Two <laughs> oh, Jordy LaForge. Oh, my God. Oh, for sure. Um, for sure. Um, yeah, let's do that, because I haven't seen that at all. Steve Harvey, apparently. We got into it, but then we got into the gay pageants on the side. Yeah, we jumped way off. And, As we uh, are known to do. By the way, I wonder yeah. if that fan is still going through and trying to find everything that we were going to talk about that we never talked about. Or I wonder if that's just a Herculean task and he wasn't able to do it. Where the fuck is Jacob? He left, dude. What is his thing? I heard he's going to be he rich. I heard he's going to their podcast. He's well, if he off. turns his camera off, it's like, what do he have to do private during the show? You think he fiddles his dick around? He's like, oh, get big and Jacob, strong. honey? Get big and strong and then get back on. Maybe his internet kicked. I think he fiddles around. You think he's just over there, like, doing stuff? That's a terrible thing you have to hear through the door of your mom saying that. Are you fiddling around with yourself in there? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You futzing around down there or what? Yeah. <laughs> what are you, what's going on? What are you, futzing? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have the, Christine, do you have the Steve Harvey? The pageant contestant? She said she's got like animal noises or something. Dude, she's, she's the winner. Cat noises. It's no Ronaldo from Mr. Gay India. Mr. Fucking attitude. What was the thing? What was the thing? Oh, Mr. Personality Belgium. Mr. Personality Belgium. Yeah, that was the one we were gonna. Damn, we were gonna Steve Harvey has a jacket. I don't know if you've seen this. No, I just saw the clip right there, and he his he his suit is. 87% lapels. Jesus, He's wearing a is. tuxedo robe. It's 100% lapel. Look at that. Pretty Steve cool. Harvey still. Steve Harvey has stopped saying no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just... I feel like he's got a giant tube in the middle of his house like Squid Game, and he just puts money into it after he does everything. It must. I mean, he is... He just comes back in with a bag of money. He's like, that was worth it. Blah, I bet blah, he makes blah, a blah, blah, gazillion blah, blah, blah. dollars, but Steve Harvey is... All of it. I bet he's doing something on New Year's Eve. I don't even know, and I bet he is. I still think it's crazy that Pete is Pete and Miley Cyrus. Are, I mean, Miley Cyrus, I understand, but it's weird that Pete's hosting the New Year's Eve celebration on TV. I don't know if it's on TV. I think it's Peacock. But it Come might be on Peacock. With Miley Cyrus, it's so crazy and celebrity. Yeah. I know, and, and he's going to be so comfortable with that. He goes, oh, hi, Miley. I know from before. We fingered. Hey, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> we dry humped it to, to, until I finished. Which was oh, yeah. I finished in my pants. It was a little embarrassing. But I was younger. I was fine. Whatever. She felt it through the denim. She trained me up. Dude, that fucking... That suit is ridiculous looking. Yeah. He's got lapel. Oh, yeah. He looks like a... He looks like a... Actually, he looks like a contestant wearing one of those sashes for Mr. Personality Belgium. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number third place. But he got her to meow like a cat. Steve Harvey? you seen this already? No, it just says it. Yeah, let's see. Welcome! Host Steve Harvey is getting mixed reaction for asking Miss India this wacky question, which she handled with a lot of class. I hear you do some pretty good animal impersonations. Yeah, they got that question. Let's hear, let's hear your best one. Oh my God, Steve, I was not expecting to do this on world yes, stage. Yes, you were. Um, you but answered I have to that. do this, I have no other option. You knew this was coming. I hope she's not an actress where she comes from. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so crazy. 
what is this? The, is this fucking the Byron Allen show? <laughs> oh, she goes, uh, he basically did just do that. He goes, you make animal noises, do it. He goes, now nah. She goes, oh, I didn't know I was going to do it. <laughs> you guys, you're doing this to me. All right, back against the wall. Here it comes. It better be one fucking hell of a cat impression. I do feral. I do feral outdoor cat. So I don't know if she does the same. What if she? Yeah. What if he? She scratches his face and squirts a little shot of pee and just starts off. He goes, "Damn, that piss is sick, and her tongue is rough." <laughs> yeah. Ah, son of a bitch, crazy cat. <laughs> crazy bitch cat, scratch my face. <laughs> claws are sharp on that bitch cats I love animals I would love to mimic a cat brace yourself everyone it's not good Steve Harvey's getting slain meow meow That's, yeah damn Jacob you meow. just buried her meow. is that live run that back run, run her impression back all right, Steve, I hope you're ready for this. Get ready to shoot blood out of your dick hole. Meow. Steve Harvey's getting slammed for asking you to do your best animal impression. Was that a bad moment for him? Absolutely not. I loved it. Miss USA. She's like, I am a dummy, so it made no difference to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought he wanted me to do a goat. Oh, it's that idiot. is much harder. <laughs> much harder. By the way, what's funny is it's a shit cat impression. That's why mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. I Can I say I gave something. it? I, I thought she would say something that she's never seen, like someone doing like a. I've seen an impression of someone doing like a, the inside purr. That's like impressive. Yeah. It wasn't bad, Dan, but I know what you mean. Yes, things like that, like something different. She just went, meow, meow. She didn't even throw in a hiss. You got to throw in a hiss. Uh, Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. That is the sound of a cat, meow. (laughs) Cat go meow. Hello, I'm cat cat meow. I make cat meow. Because it's Miss Universe, it goes, damn, that was good. Damn, that was so good. Oh, uh, Miss Lady from India, you found the motherfucker. No, he's like, that was great. Miss Lady, you mad beautiful. Wait, you are contestant on the Price is Right. What else is the host? Yeah. Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Regular Damn family it. feud. Dude. He hosts Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, too, doesn't he? Or is that Sajak really? still? Sajak. It's Sajak's a greedy little dog, too. Yeah, he stays know, he's in the got game. His, late. He's got his own line of suits. Those suits are his. Wait, Wait really? That... Sajak does? No, no, no. Oh, uh, that's Sean. Harvey. Oh, Har- I thought Sajak got into it. No, oh, Harvey's yeah. go- Joker outfit is made by him. Oh, I'm certain of that for sure. You can see Terry Crews was dressed every week on America's Got Talent, too. That's why he dressed like a goddamn... He was like a, a from a gay child's dream. <laughs> He'd come out every goddamn week. <laughs> Something else weird. What, men can't wear garter belts? Come on now, it's new style. Come on, come on, man. Those are pretty cool. They hold up your pants pretty good. Yeah, so what? I'm wearing a feathery peacock outfit with lapels. So what? So fucking what? Um, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So much I want to talk about. I want to tell you all about... I think the, uh, the Are You Garbage guys will also love my thing about the Discovery Plus... Getting Discovery Plus for this show, I don't know. Oh, I'm you got it because I saw Plus. the we saw the trailer for this. Uh, we did of pedo. the young lady of the lady who was doing the pedophile hunts, and I gotta tell you, no, this lady, uh, there's I don't know, just flaws in her game for sure. Yeah, she has to do too much for too little reward. Too too much for too little reward. Uh, the, the point that I'll make, should we take a break? Or is that word not time to take a break yet? Mm. Uh, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. You know, take a break take and one. then we'll do, and then we'll do uh, all the reads when we come back, right? Sure. What do we got three? What do we got three? That's yeah. it. Ah, dude, that's nothing, dude. We'll blow that shit right out of and the And we got the guys from Are You Garbage coming to hang out. Coming to kick it. How many more breaks do we have to take, though, Lou? <clears throat> Two more. Oh, we didn't break yet, so two more. Oh. But I did a commercial. Does that matter? Yeah, it was a great one. But it didn't matter to the other ones that have to play. Correct. No. 
bitch bastard. <sighs> All right, can't beat well. the system, Jay. We can't. I was trying to make sure so we wouldn't have to take a break with the Are You Garbage guys, but I guess we'll go fuck ourselves and have to yeah. have an awkward seven-minute break just staring at each other on a computer. That rules. <laughs> I walk away awkwardly. I hope to God Dan starts a conversation, and then I dip. Yeah. <laughs> I dip the funk right out. I'm like, well, okay. Well, all right, Jake. Uh, you know what? I'll just take over from here. I, mean, guys, I have to go piss for seven exact minutes. <sighs> but we'll do it your way. We'll play it your crazy way, everyone. We'll be right back. It's a bonfire. Anderson, of the show. He doesn't get it. The fuck up. He doesn't get oh, gas got station got sandwich culture. Yeah. What are you drinking? Me? Yeah. I didn't know what you put down. Oh, just a nice bottle of water. Ice All cold, right. clear water. It's only water from here on out, Danny. I got really? the trainer. No more sugary drinks. No more nothing. Damn, you're going to get a trainer, hot, aren't you? He's real. I think he might get hot. He's he's already posting like gym selfies and shit. He might get hot. Yeah. And listen, oh. I told everybody, I've tried to keep this guy. You think I put the weight on by accident. I put the weight on purpose to protect people. Because yeah. in shape, 25-year-old Hank was a real prick. <laughs> now everybody wants him back. So when I'm back, I don't want anybody getting mad at me. Keep Dude, your I sisters, can't... keep your moms, keep everybody away from me. Because it's you were... free reign when I'm slowing down. Foley, you were in shape. Years. You were in shape at a point. Yeah, when, <laughs> like, I, like a, even a couple of years ago, he really turned, he really, you know, he really hit turbo drive about two years ago and put on like 200 pounds. <laughs> That goddamn seamless, man. That shit <laughs> brutal. Legitimately, yeah. legitimately, when you sat down, there was nothing hanging over your belt. No, a contact, high school and college. I was uh, in college. I was like 180 pounds. I played. The, I played the cross in football. Damn. Damn. Yeah, right. I'm always. I'm always. I'm always intrigued by that. I've talked about this with Bobby Kelly before. I'm always intrigued by that. Wow. Damn. I've never. I've never I not see been you right there, baby. I've never not been some version of fat, so I don't even know what the other side is like Hold to on. know is how that, different it is now. Is that true, or did you always – did you just look at yourself as fat? Because I look at pictures of myself from college when I thought I was fat. People called me fat, and I'm like, God damn it, I was fucking schvelt. It could yeah. be body dysmorphia. No, 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 I've always been fat, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a fat tub of shit my whole life, Bowie. Yeah. yeah, I've been waiting for someone to tell me I wasn't. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely. See, I, uh, I think I was thinking about this the other day randomly. Jay, is that uh, you? De- some people they look better when they're younger and worse when they're older. You definitely look the best now. Like I remember yeah. being at the Laugh House and seeing like your picture on the wall, and you'd have like a FUBU sweatshirt on, oh yeah, and long oh, yeah. hair. I'd yeah. be like, "Who the fuck is that guy?" Yeah, you look it was fantastic def- now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, it's, that's the beauty of dudes, man. We do just age well. <laughs> we do age just fantastic. I mean, great. Women, poor women just wilt into nothing, huh? <laughs> just an un- <laughs> just an unfuckable. Bowl running around the house in a house coat. <laughs> wait, 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 Christine, wait, 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 no wait, wait, one wait. wants your words right now, Chris. No, go, ahead, Christine. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Me? I just said thanks, Jay. <laughs> oh yeah, no, not you, not yet. I mean, you're welting for sure, but I try to keep you watered as much as possible. <laughs> know what I mean, nah, Put I mean. you by the window every once in a while, get a little sunlight. Yeah, see if you tilt a little bit. <laughs> Christine, uh, don't let me look up kidney stones later, or I'll spend the rest of the night obsessing. Right now. <laughs> yeah, please. I'm sorry, please. dude. I'm the same way. Ru- I apologize. Ruin Christmas. <laughs> I'm will. surprised you're still on the Snapple. I stopped when they switched when they got rid of the glass bottles. I can't do it, man. They really yeah. fucked me up with that shit. But I always turn it. I put it in a glass with ice. Always, anyways. Ooh, matter, yeah. Fucking aristocrat! Look at that. That is pretty classy, uh-huh. that gentlemen. Hoity toity, dude. So that's no plastic cup, by the way. Child. That's glass. That's a glass. Ooh. Nice thick one. <laughs> nice thick one. But Irish pub? Did you steal that pint glass? Oh, that's yeah. what I want to know. That's from yeah. the cellar. Christ only know. <laughs> now this is a yeah, Christine has- special. I only know. Christ only knows where Christine got this from. The cellar. <laughs> Christine tells you. She goes, "No, I got it from the cellar." Yeah, Just pocketed one night. Throw in my purse. You Isn't it weird no, for some looking. reason a soda out of a pint glass doesn't taste as good as a soda out of a pint glass that has a label or logo on it? 
Agreed. It's got to say something. It's also got the the plastic. We we talk about this all the time. Jay and I talk about this. The plastic red Pizza Hut cups. Oh, buddy, we got them in the studio somewhere. Unbelievable. Yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah, they, Unbelievable. They make, fa- they make fountain soda. I told things. you, I throws Cups, soda cups were going to be that, and something happened where he has to like change them for some reason. I don't know what it was, oh, but I'm like, that's that's the ultimate soda cup. When you see a bar that has that, they dude, give a shit. Soda looks like he's in a Taliban beheading video right now. <laughs> yeah, I just you're trying to be to you're trying to be brave. I just want everyone to know that I miss my family and I want them to have a good Christmas. That's weird, so real hard. Blair Witch vibes to it. You got caught wearing a leather jacket in North Korea. <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 chewed, <laughs> I chewed gum in Singapore. Yeah, what we have a good time. time. <laughs> Were we having a yeah. good time? Oh, that was I funny. They, fingernails. <laughs> they banned laughter for a day or something or a week. 14 in, days in North in Korea. North... So funny. Danny Soth, where are you Hold up at? Uh, undisclosed location, where I'm always at. <laughs> Secret location. Like I'm, at my, I'm at my safe house. <laughs> I was at the no farm. Questions. I was down at the farm in Virginia. He's oh, going over. Right, right that... next is what throws it off too that that non yeah that looks like a rifle is in there yeah this thing right here i just take this to a clock tower and i get rid of uh <laughs> oh, rid of the guitar case yeah. a- a- ar-15 showed up nice, nice. No, I have a, oh, <laughs> looks like santa wants me to hit targets from over a hundred yards away <laughs> i'll be delivering the be gift of some soft targets yeah here. You nursing school bitches should have said yes to my advances. <laughs> There's going to be a mall. There's going to be a mall with a sale on coffins soon. <laughs> Stay away from the Orange Julius around 12 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Guys, if, if What's Queen's your favorite bag? Here. A Fendi bag? A Louis Vuitton bag? Or a body bag? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, I'm oh. sorry. You're the voice instrumentalist here. Could you please do an AR-15 tear and through them all, please? Did you mute yourself? Did you just yeah, do it for nobody? I did. Cause, I cause did. <laughs> this kid's right on the money, I'll tell you that. Fire away, dude. Yeah, dude. Perfect. That's perfect. I feel like I'm in Rambo right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, he's like Michael Winslow, dude. He learned from the best. Every, everybody duck. <laughs> That's good. It's God damn, he's good. a long road. First blood. When you can I bring some of these things up that I wanted to talk about with the with the fellas here, Dan? Yeah. So we got oh, so yeah. many. One, did you hear about the lady, Dan, yourself, about the, the, is farting into a jar and selling it? I heard. I heard about it, yeah. I don't know what show she's on. What, yeah. what, what reality show is she on? I figured oh, she was on a show. 90 Day know that. Fiance. Uh, What's it called? 90 Day. It's not one of those birds from selling Sunset, because let me tell you something. Those chicks are top shelf. You'll buy a fart from them? I'd buy a fart Ooh. from that bitch. What a compliment. <laughs> oh, I'd buy a fart from her. To it. My, the only thing that bothers me about that, is she really farting into it, or is she just selling empty jars? She That's could be my problem. That's my problem. There's, okay. not, there's, not, there's no... There's no it's proof. It's a promise. There's, no there's a promise made. Unless you're agreeing to be filmed farting into the jar, why, why would you believe? It? It said, "Yeah, you need proof of." Lewis purpose. said on Rio's podcast today. The, the, I mean, if you genuinely like, the funniest thing for her to do is have a, a fat guy friend of hers just farting all of them. That's the funniest. Yeah, thing. yeah, like the neighbor or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's I'm also for dog farts. The level of horny that you have to be to enjoy that to be like, Crazy. ooh, males, males here. And then just sit down <laughs> naked, naked in You're a robe. With, yeah, oh, is it, oh, another Chicken day my fart didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Day in the life of oh. a girl who sells her farts in a jar. Oh, is she going to fart in it on? Does, is this the actual her farting in the jar? Go yeah, the player, like TikTok would have it. If this she doesn't show TikTok it up front? that went viral, that was why everybody's talking about I this. Told her, I told I'm not a fart guy, but I wouldn't go to her, I don't think. I don't, I don't get that. She's not, she's not super attractive. But she's willing odd. to fart. She's willing to fart in a jar. Yeah, for True. a jar farter, she's a fucking. Kippy, I think that's the whole thing. Is she's willing to fucking. <laughs> sure, fart. she's probably top notch for jar farters. Oh my top god, she line. is a jar fart eleven. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm living like, in regular reality. I apologize. Yeah, sorry. I said I said she was a twelve. I said she was a jar fart twelve, but Dan says eleven. He's a little handsomer than me, so sorry. I, dude. <laughs> yeah. Over a higher standard. 
I want a real. I would want to go even... Asian or Middle Eastern. Get a little spice on there. Oh my God, that'll knock you out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you want to? You want uh, some ethnic? Some ethnic I foreign some, sense in that thing. That. What what's oh, okay. she eating? She's not eating go anything get, good. Yeah, what's you that go to saffron a, and June bug and uh Yeah, then you get a Japanese fart jar and you go squid and some uh, yeah. sort of pepper? <laughs> yeah, live octopus? Yeah. yeah, squid ink and squid and Japanese Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> um the what's the play the TikTok? Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a day in the life of a girl who sells her farts in a jar. So I Can you pause like it for a second? things roll in. Damn, dude. This, all this girl's t- got garbage. This, this, this is a dumb question, but I like showing my age sometimes and stuff like this. Can you not talk in TikToks? Is it always a voiceover on everything? No, everything I, I see is a voiceover. It's or, a me- or a mechanical voice reading it. It's all the style. No, you can, yeah, you can, but it's just that's that that's what's like that's what goes viral. Is this like kind of why? Know, yeah, why does everybody? Shit. Why does everybody use that same lady's voice too? So my they, boyfriend said this. They like narration. Everyone isn't likes it to just feel... like it's like it's like the automatic reader, right? It's like yeah, that's why it's off sometimes. All right, go. Ahead, I'm sorry. But with like some you. beans, a protein muffin, sometimes even a yogurt, less sugar is better, some hard-boiled eggs, and today I decided I was going to make myself a protein shake with some yogurt added to it, and oh, I was feeling it, for sure. Uh, while I wait for those farts to develop, yeah, I dude. like to read. Pause it. The incub- Pause it. The incubation I'm not gonna defend- period. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to what? I'm not going to, uh, I would never buy a fart in a jar. Uh, I think it's hilarious, but like in this, I don't want to smell her fart. I don't want her to fart on me. I don't want her to fart in the same room as me. But I would now watch a video of her naked asshole farting for sure, Just and not opening. think it was hot, but also not not think it was hot. I don't know how to describe it. Jay, you ready for it? Yeah. <laughs> but in the room, in the room, I'd want to punch her in the ass if she did that to me. Also, her just reading literature, waiting for a fart to boil, is very yeah, funny. So oh, casual. fart! She's like, "Oh, ding! Dinner's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> Crack the jars." <clears throat> yeah, I wonder how. I wonder what. I wonder what one long fart that gets her. Like, how much fart she needs to fill up her orders. Do you know what I mean? Is this like a good call? Do you think she keeps? <laughs> she, uh, I, she I hate to go. Weeds. Yeah, yeah, I hate to, I hate to go like, Shark Tank can't, here, can't but is there inventory? <laughs> Does she have yeah. uh, too much inventory there, or what's going on? You know, or is she? Yeah, is she, she can't producing... tell people that the farts are waiting at a port somewhere because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. supply no, chain these things, management. <laughs> yeah, these got to be bought. These got to be bought for the order by the order. Yeah, yeah. There's no yeah, surplus no of thing. fart jars. Uh, I ha- they yeah. have to yeah. escape at some point. Sitting under a heat lamp somewhere. <laughs> what if she did just have like a fart cellar where instead of a wine cellar it was all vintage farts? <laughs> Which tells you it's like baby, it's like baby bottles. You gotta boil the canisters in around yeah. it yeah. to keep it in and there. Then how long do they? How long do they hold? Like if you ship them, how long does a fart stay? You know? Well, I think there's something in here. She, there's uh, a flower in the bottom of the jar, and the flower apparently holds the fart <sighs> in the jar. Man. I don't know if there's any science behind this at all, but she's clearly reading a big book, so she's smart. Man, these creeps <laughs> really figure it out, huh? Look how many pages that book. What is she reading? It? Is that Pride and Prejudice? Look how deep she is. It might be. She's deep into it. It's a busy it. day. She got a Harry Potter. We'll be waiting a while. <laughs> yeah, she's like, all right, I got this. She goes, by the time I get by the time I get through Pride, right before Prejudice, I feel the bubble lumping up. Ooh, Prejudice is starting and I'm feeling some tummy bubbles. So by the time I by the time I get to the zombies, I'm shitting my pants. Yeah. Get it? Because there was Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, yeah. Dan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. I did. I didn't know if you were cultured enough or not to know that. I did. Do you, know I've never, do you know I've seen Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, yet I've never read Pride and Prejudice? I don't know what Pride and Prejudice is about. Fun to work and, backwards, uh, though. I just know the words. <laughs> I just know the words that is a, a title of a book. But you know, What's it. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? What are you talking about? Yeah. It's a movie called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. <laughs> Yeah, it's just characters from Pride and Prejudice, and then there's zombies. It's a real classic. <laughs> that's, a, that's the whole. That's well. Let's see how she does this. Did you guys uh, ever see the movie Lincoln? Vampire Hunter. Hey, <laughs> fun twist. 
Fun twist. Because I did, and if history serves me, he was a pretty great vampire hunter. I like JFK. He freed the slaves. Kills aliens. Ooh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) What about Mahatma Gandhi, werewolf man? (laughs) What was that movie, right? It's like the man who fucking uh, killed Sam Elliott and danced with Hitler. Yeah, it sucks. Man who killed Hitler and Bigfoot, it stinks. Really? Sounds like it would be good. I know. I was excited about it, and I watched it. I was very high, and I was bored. Oh, yeah. But let's watch this lady fart in a jar. That's not boring. Oh, yeah. Damn right it is. Then after I'm ready to go, I go ahead and, you know, do my work, do my job. I don't need to show you that, guys. But I'd like to add in little flower petals. Yeah, you do. That's what we want to see. Where the rubber hits the road. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's an open kitchen, honey. Let's go. How do you do it? I want to see the pan. Christine, go on a porn site and look up. Farting, farting in a, in a jar. jar, female farting in a jar. Well, let's please. see how. Not let's gay. watch the end of this first. Don't call us gay, Christine. Let's watch the end of this first. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want to see if it, it looks like it's possible. Catch the scent and make it last longer. And when I'm finally finished with my jar, I like to leave a personalized note. I want to thank you so much to the 97 people who have already purchased their jar of farts. And as you know, they're on sale right now, 50% off with $1,000. So go to my unfiltered and check it. What? Hey guys, what? today I'm show- a jihad. It's two thousand. I'll shit normal. the bag for three hundred. It's, it's normally uh, two thousand. Holy, she's down. Geez. So Man. two thousand. So she's got to sell fucking fifty farts. Is this genius though? Because I don't believe. But if you but if you tell people you got a thousand hundred thousand dollars selling your farts, I think that generates business because people like yeah, this Then all like the weirdos they, they go. Well, they're just showing people, yeah, they go, oh, I guess other people are into this, too. I'll buy a fucking jar fart. This is great. So it's like you're going to make a few people look like morons to make all the fucking rats come out of the cave for sure. But Listen, you're also, if I have a also... disposable income, I would buy a fart at so least for a joke. Open it with the buddies on a car ride or something. I would figure it out. But you're going down a slippery slope. Once you start selling your farts, then you start got to give away a little, uh, you know, dingleberries well, and then shit turns. Wait, where's Pete Davidson involved in this? He's like, what's he doing? Is he farting in jars too? He's like, hi, everyone. <laughs> I farted in this and it's going to cost $5,000. But you get it. <laughs> I'll double down, but I'll do half off, though. But, you know, if you, if you sign up for my OnlyFans, I'll sell it for 2500 <laughs> She feels like she's the Einstein of fart jars at this point because she's mm. figured out the perfect formula for making the most and the least amount of time, but also causing her the least amount of pain. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, she's sold 175 jars. Right? I wonder how many jars she gets per fart. That's what I'm saying. Like, does you think she? You think she stops? Do you think she gives all of one longie to one jar? It's and then some, and then somebody else gets a little fucking like a rapid fire or a squeaker because that's not yeah, fucking cool. Little... I want the big fart. I think canning, putting the cap on, is probably cru- like it's got to happen at a crucial time. Yeah, she's got to have somebody working with her. Yeah, maybe she's she got to have fart. A... She needs maybe a catcher. She fart, fart for weeks into like a covered vat of flowers. Ooh, and then you dip in and just, and then you just put the flowers in a jar, and, and they're gonna have like all that fart. Yeah, yeah, she just never every fart she lays, she farts into the vat. Yeah, it's got to be a vat that it's got like an airtight <laughs> cover to it. I don't. That's know. the only way you can guarantee equal fart per jar. And if you're paying this, if everyone's paying two thousand dollars, that's not fucking fair. Yeah, you you don't. Young man has pay, some good ideas. You got a future yeah, in the fart business. Yeah. You know what I like about Jay? You're like the SEC of farts. You come in and regulate. Yeah, I'm going to go to Shark Tank with this, too, because i got a patent pending on this fart jar. What you're going to do is get yourself jar. an airtight mat, okay? <laughs> Jay gets arrested for insider farting. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, buy, the, buy, the, buy the stock. Sell it now. And they're like, Jay, you're going away for a long time, dude. Christine, you want to try selling your beefs on the internet? No, you're just going to keep wasting them in the bathroom for free. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're just sitting on all like that money. Oh, okay, we're just sitting on man. all that money and you're not going to do anything. You are going to have to contribute at some point. <clears throat> at some I like point. it. I like the idea of, like, you know, dudes are creeps, okay? And this woman is turning it back on them, which I think is smart. Oh, for sure. No, no. She's pulling off a fantastic scam here. I applaud her greatly because I also have no belief she's farting in those jars. 
Sure. Yeah, for sure. There's just, something going on. You just feel bad for the sad guy at home, probably married, kids, yeah. loveless marriage. Oh, and he's yeah. sitting there waiting on the Amazon guy to show up with a fucking jar well, of fart. You know, there's like jokes. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's like jokes of like fart. They, they have like fart spray, like they sell like yeah. the novelty yeah. place and everything. Yeah. So I was like, bomb, she's probably just whatever. putting some, some, yeah, some stink bomb and just putting it like. Dripping like a little dropper of it into uh, onto flowers. That's oh, how it's staying guy. in the flower. She's letting you believe that fart sticks to flower. There's no science behind that whatsoever. And then there's some guy's spending his kids' braces money on that instead of <laughs> what he thinks is. I'll tell you what. I, if, I'll tell you what. If I was selling farts, what I would do. I would put a piece of terry cloth, Smart. fart right into that, and then throw that in a jar. Because if you've ever, we talked about this, Dan, right? If you've ever farted into a towel oh, and crazy. smelled it, which I have, it holds it aggressively. Oh, mm-hmm. I would it's like Velcro. wipe my butt with the flour, then put it in. This guy's got flour? an idea. Like a shit no, flour. Dan, a, shit, a shit flour is not, no, nobody wants to see that. Okay. A question oh, too, I'm sorry. the scent of the flour overpower the fart? I think you're just smelling the decaying flour, probably. That's more. what I mean. Like, like fart into a piece of paper towel makes more sense to me. Yeah. Flour, it's like I don't understand why flour thinks. Oh, here Whoa! that's a balloon right. knot. There, there's that. my kids here. Jesus. Yeah. Was that a, another fart in a jar person doing it the real I can't way? Find, I can't find farting in jars. So you just showed us a girl's asshole. Thank you. That makes sense. It's a girl that farting. Good. If you want Christine. to see the butthole move, Yo, I know what you like. Christine, what? That was a. What was they saying? It's Christmas time. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was a video of a girl farting. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, thank I you. I can't find them of, farting man. into jars. And you said you didn't know what to get me for Christmas this year. <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, we weren't you. doing gifts. No. Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I thought we weren't doing gifts. We said no gifts, Christine. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what I'll do this year, Christine. Let's do no gifts. Let's do zero uh, or gifts. Or a. Jar of, uh, a jar of farts. Or let's get to the jar of farts. In the I've actually yeah. had a girl fart in my face. Uh, yeah, I got two see- farts, please. Get it from the petty cash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you pull hey, it you out? Gotta spend his cash by the end of the year. Come on, what are we doing, <laughs> guys? We're gonna spend these farts <laughs> like quarter, today. <laughs> today, do 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 do. Um, I've had a girl fart in my face. Not on purpose, but right, by accident. Yeah, we all have. Yeah, I was I was back there doing my thing, and I remember seeing that there was no sound. It was the moonwalk? Class. <laughs> there was there was no sound. It was it was like I was seeing it in space, and it was like it, watching it, it, it open and shut. Just went like that, and then like a split second later, I was like, "Did you fart?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm so sorry." I'm it sorry. didn't even go. Didn't even like go nice you lady. didn't even hear like uh like the sound like the. No. Because she was on her knees and it was just like. A... It just zipped out. Damn. Oh, f- water. That's like the time I got to drink a Guinness right from the line. You got to yeah, fart right I've off the, right from the tap. Yeah. <laughs> just came right out of her butt. There wasn't even right from any... the barrel. That's, dude, that's fucking got barrel right. fresh. Yeah, dude. That's that was basically. Early, yeah. you know what I mean? That's right from the vat. Yeah, dude. That's right in your face. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it's like you ever been farted on by right a girl there. ever, Dan? Oh, probably. Yeah, I, not one that I remember, but it's probably happened for sure. You know, I can't smell you, son of a bitch. I can't. I can't. I'm nose retarded, and you know that. <laughs> I can't smell, you stupid son Is that of true? a bitch. Yeah, I can't smell. Um, you have anosmia? You're joking. I don't know. I just can't. I have to be like really up on something to smell it. Like really, really up on it. And for that reason, food? he thinks his food? farts don't smell. I have, listen, I would guess my fart smell, but my girlfriend says my farts don't smell, and I trust her, unless she's just trying to make you feel better. She's just also a very nice lady. She's she very is. nice. Yeah, so she's probably just being nice. Dan. Katie's just being nice. Let Katie know she's a nice lady. <laughs> and she goes, okay, then your farts fucking reek, dude. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> You're a nice, nice lady. Um, Christine, did Jay, did Jay's farts stink? They can. Oh, Not yeah, all the time. for sure. They can and they will. I also don't fart in front of Christine very much at all. Really? After all this time? I'm yeah. throwing them in my girlfriend's face. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. Would you argue that, Christine? Alive, you, know? <laughs> you gotta keep the magic happening. She's spicy over at the Foley house. Yeah. If she's sleeping, if she's sleeping, I'll I'll rip them. But like uh 
You must you, have had you stay real still like it wasn't you afterwards, like that, the bed or something. Good for you, you guys. Go, that's really trying to keep it alive. I, I really commend that. That's, that's I do that's too. Awesome. Do you go in the other room, Jay? Do you just go into the other room and fart? Or do you like fart? Do you have like a fart pillow? Uh, yeah, I'll probably go like. I'll be, oh, like pee a toddler, or something. you go into the corner and just you won't make eye contact with anyone. That's the paper towel roll that you had in college when you were I'll smoking just, weed in the dorms. Yeah, I'll just be around the corner and I won't look at you. <laughs> I recently, uh, Christine laid out, uh, let out a deep sleep. I mean, five parter uh, when she was asleep the other night. It was, <laughs> it was. I went through, every, I went through, I went through every emotion of. I went from uh, funny to we should break up to I was proud of her to like. <laughs> where was the crescendo? Uh, man, it came. Oh, there was like a crescendo. I don't know there, but there was definitely there was a, a dot on the eye at the end. There was just one last hunk. <laughs> But there was a couple of fucking sustained notes in there, dude. And, like, and it, I'm talking, it was an eight-octave fart like Mariah Carey. <laughs> eight octaves. It was like Celine Dion in Vegas. <laughs> it really, it really was. Not lo- that thing, it never lost steam at all. Yeah, like one of those. Stinky? For sure. Stinky? No. No, not that I remember. But I actually, actually when it happened, I, then, I, ra- I cocoon wrapped her in blanket that I was above. Oh. So she I, really put it in there. Yeah, I tied her all together in her, so she stewed in it probably for a while. Damn. Yeah, I think her legs I still smell eat. like it. Yeah. She's like, to this day, on the wrong wind, I smell it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I try not to fart in front of Christina Tun. Every uh, my, all, all, of, all of my friends, honestly. all of my fr- Well, I did fart in front of her a lot at one point. And she uh, was like, I don't like that that much. And I was like, oh, all right. Then I'll be self-conscious about it forever. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. There you go. Yeah, he was farting fine. a lot. So do you fart in front of your girl? You let him rip? Um, it's a good it, time? Used, used to. Used to. And then now I'm kind of more cautious about it because I, I realize uh, it's not cool. <laughs> like I thought it was funny for a little bit. <laughs> And then I was like, you know what? You're right. Cause as far as keeping the spice alive, I'll let them go if I need to. And sometimes they slip out. So I'm not like overly cautious, but I will avoid, you know, like letting them fucking fly. Yeah, I got to get better at that. Maybe the face throwing is not that, not that great of a thing. Yeah. It was very funny for a small period of time. And then it went from like, kind of like the way Jay reacted to Christine's fart. It went from being like, ha ha, to being like, eh, you're going to keep doing that? Yeah, I saw that coming a mile down the road for you, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised with your free farting, even in front of Christine. Yeah. Uh, we talked about this a bunch, but uh, yeah, I try not to, but uh, Christine has farted in front of me more than I think a lot of girlfriends have farted in front of their people, so oh, it's fine. We both needed to change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you both need, I mean, you know, you got to learn, you grow. Yeah. Yeah, we don't rip them in front of each other anymore. It's so tempting. I cannot though. breathe. But cor- poor Christine. We, it's better now. We got a bit of a bigger place, so it doesn't happen quite as much. Still a little bit. But when she runs off and has to do whatever in the bathroom, I genuinely tend to pause whatever we're watching. So then I just hear the the amphitheater sound of a fart into a bowl <laughs> when you're sitting down. Like that. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a tuba yeah, blast. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's a do tuba guys- blast. Now, I mean, did you guys fart around your parents a lot growing up? Was that like accepted? I was a non non farting household with the brother, maybe like, but like, I mean, to like fart in front of my mom was, I mean, I'd rather slap her. That's crazy. Always, really? it was just it was hysterical. No, oh, who stepped dude. on a duck? Yeah, oh, that was yeah. always it. That was always yeah. That was it. the opening act. That was right before the crowd work. You go yeah. and fucking lay a couple out. Oh, my dad ripped an epic fart one time in front of me and my cousins when we were staying with him in San Francisco. It was like a minute long. We were like, Wah! it was like a magic trick. <laughs> yeah, you're like, Dad, keep going. Keep going. Oh, dude. Like, he held the note like Whitney Houston. <laughs> He's like, dude, the star He's got his finger on his ear. <laughs> oh, my, God, step pop, the- my step pop was definitely in, in like, uh, he'd fart wherever he had to fart. And turn the ass out and shit and do the whole thing. But I, uh, 
I don't recall for myself if I was ever like big on farting in front of people that much. I really, honest to God, I was. It's again fat guy shit. I was like, oh, I yeah, don't want to be the, the fat, fat guy, guy farting. You can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah no. Jay's, social Jay's made me exactly. Jay, not. Jay's given me the perspective of uh, someone growing up overweight. You don't want to be the fat, smelly kid, so you right. can't rip no. farts. Where I was, I was the big headed, skinny kid. So I was like, hey. It's take- goofy Dan, yeah. Goofy, skinny Dan, ripping yeah, farts. Exactly. No one yeah, cares. I'm, I'm ripping yeah. farts. Yeah. Don't look at my giant head. L- listen to my butt noises. Yeah, no, totally. And my thing was like, when somebody else farts, inevitably for a second, they, yeah. someone's going to look and go, is it you? And I could gladly say, it is certainly fucking not. I need to, I need to have all the powers for me to go. Nope, it's not me at all. My teeth are brushed. I've mouthwashed. My asshole is clean. Everything's shiny and lotioned. Foley, they did never you notice? They you, though, Jay. They always thought it was us. They always thought it was the fat guy. Yeah, Foley, did you notice your amount of farts change when you got heavier? When you got bigger, were you like less farts? Oh, the production's definitely kicked in the high gear, if that's sure. what you mean. Yeah, but I mean, like... My floor is busy, yeah. I'm yeah, like but, Amazon. He's running Model T's off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, yeah. Worker, you got workers you, that can't even take piss breaks because there's too many oh, farts. No. I'll 100%. tell you what. No, no union, no nothing. Always cranking them out. But never when I was a kid, never in social situations. So do you strike me? Soda, could you light your farts on fire at a certain point? Tried once or twice, always went poorly. Never went the way I wanted. Really, <laughs> I figured you'd be a master. But I was the guy that I was the guy that tried. Absolutely. By the, yeah. by the way, Foley, you said you were uh, in shape when you were younger. So like, you don't know, but like a fat guy code, like for sure is when I meet a fat guy who smells terrible, like has the smell. I you really want to pull him aside and be like, dude, this is the problem. Like you're spreading a really bad word here about yeah. us. Like why would you come out smelling like this? It's horrific. <laughs> The big boy, you know, that kind of smell is re- is really something else. Tough to put your finger on. Yeah, oh, like middle Like it's there's a- pennies involved. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. It tends to be oniony. Yeah, yeah. it's a, yeah. it's a. I- uh, they're sweating something they ate, but whatever it is, mm-hmm. they're just not thinking ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've had that. Yeah, and if I feel comfortable, you always want to pull somebody aside and tell them. I do that I- with everything, you know, boogers, bad breath. I always give somebody a heads up. I'm not going to let somebody walk into a room with a booger in their nose. I wouldn't no dream. I wouldn't dr- uh, garlic salt on pizza is one of my favorite things to put on <sighs> pizza. In my le- if I was doing anything in the world besides eating pizza and being home that night, there's no <laughs> fucking way I would put garlic salt on something. No. Like, I'm like, no, nope, no. Nope. You wouldn't take that out. You wouldn't take that out for a walk, would you? Not even sort of. No, I wouldn't even try. <laughs> No, I'm like, it'll be coming through my pores. It's it's coming through my pores in 20 minutes, and then I'm that guy. I'm sweaty oh. garlic fats over here. Oh, oh, man. And it starts going. The second it happens, you'd be like, <laughs> oh, maybe an hour. And, like, it it grow, it gains so so much velocity so quick that it gets yeah. out of control. You taste you it in the back of your worse? own throat. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think's worse? Is it garlic breath, B.O., or just general fat guy stink? <laughs> What's yeah, the worst, the worst? I think B.O. is, is fat guy stink. That's what the fat guy stink is. It's B.O. for sure. No, I'm talking B.O. like like where it smells like hoagies. I never get that. I will oh, get a, I will get a fat guy, almost homeless guy kind of scent if I haven't showered in a couple of days and I've been laying around. If I'm the homeless, I might get a homeless yeah. guy. <laughs> I might pick up a little homeless thing about I me. Mean, which makes, I was <laughs> When thinking. I'm sleeping under the bridge for a week, you know, I yeah. tend to get a little right. Which yeah, got get me a little thinking, of that out there. That reminds me, Dan. I think I got to make an appointment to get some new Botox in the old pits, dude. Make sure. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, you make sure that? we. Uh, the, oh, yeah. It ruled. What? It's the most effective thing I've ever had done by a doctor. Really? I don't even know if they were doctors. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. these guys shooting shit in my arm. Whatever well, it was, it, whatever it was, never under armpit sweating problem for months and months and months now. Did you? Yeah, I had a buddy, uh, real big problem with it, and then he said he started shaving his armpits, and it really worked. Really? Have you ever I've tried heard a that? Lot of things. When I was younger, I used to do that. Yeah, for it, sure. that didn't work, right? I think it may have at one point, but like then I started getting like the worst thing is when you again that was fat guy arm. Yeah, and you realize a lot of times that hair was stopping you from getting a rash of your arm yes. doing this thing. Yeah, <sighs> and that an arm. Did I forget? I, 
it's so amazing these things that are so big in your life at a point and then aren't anymore. Two things. That happening, crotch rot, getting the thighs rubbed together when That's I was younger. That's the worst. And if was, if Every you, time you, I went to the beach, I'd get that. Yeah, because you walk in like wet shorts and stuff. It was the... It was a oh. night, and that and the underarm are the same thing, just feeling like fire. Your underarm. Oh. I, I haven't had these things happen in 20 some years, but like oh. when they happen, when I was, dude, going summer sanitarium tour, Metallica, Kid Rock, and System of a Down. Me and my girlfriend went with this bus thing with 94 YSP, and we went in this bus, and they par- it dropped us off like a mile from the venue. It was the new Ravens Stadium, I think. And yeah. the walk there, and it was just a hot, sweaty day, and I was in jeans, and just. The walk back, dude, it was fire between my legs. Oh. Is that so? It's the worst feeling in the world. Literally, it's just dude, a complete one time rip I rash. Had, uh, I had, for some reason, I was an eight year old and I had a pair of, I don't know if I got them from my dad, silk boxers. But I yeah, wore them. Yeah, look at you, eight year old. Basketball shorts. <laughs> Damn, dude. dude. You looked, it you was, were probably, there was definitely a pedophile that saw that. It was like, oh, wow, <laughs> this kid is. Okay. All right, Red Sheet <laughs> Diaries over here. <laughs> Sorry, He's dude. I got to. this kid. He goes, yeah, you don't I'm walk only... in the beach where I know unless you're looking for a good <laughs> He goes, I'm down to get molested, but it better be open. It better be an open yeah. relationship. <laughs> you better have a nice car. It's going to be a real fucking... nice man. This kid's too advanced for me. <laughs> yeah, dude, I had a pair of silk boxers, and it it felt like someone lit off firecrackers down there. Dude. Takes full size candy bars to get him in the trunk. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, dude, you got to really put in the effort. <laughs> dude, this fucking shoe show f- is flying by. Do we have to go to commercial now? Yeah, we, we did, buddy. It. Yeah, right now. Damn it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we got three reads and uh, seven Facebook minutes of commercial. Comes up. Well, dude, yeah. Are You Garbage, one of the best podcasts out there. It's so Two of the best fun. guys. Two of Thank the best guys. guys so funny. Me. Thank you. We love you guys, too. Their new special out right now on YouTube. Make sure you go check it out. Um, the Are You Garbage comedy special with H. Foley so and Kevin funny. Ryan out right now on YouTube. Go watch it. We love you guys. You're the best. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back to say goodbye. It's the Bonfire.